There's one silent habit that's slowly wearing down your diesel's reliability, and most owners don't even realize they're doing it. It's running your tank near empty before refueling. While it might seem harmless, doing this regularly can cause expensive damage to your fuel system and leave you stranded at the worst possible moment. In this quick video, I'll explain why letting your diesel fuel level drop below a quarter tank can lead to costly problems and how to avoid them. Please make sure to watch till the end because I'll share the one maintenance tip that most diesel mechanics recommend but rarely tell customers about, which could save you hundreds in unnecessary repairs down the road. You're cruising down the highway, fuel gauge hovering just below a quarter tank. No big deal, right? You've got miles left. But suddenly, your engine starts sputtering, losing power, maybe even stalling completely. What just happened? Your diesel didn't actually run out of fuel, but something far worse occurred. Modern diesel engines use high-pressure fuel injection systems, while the low-pressure lift pump operates at modest pressures. The high-pressure injection system can reach up to 29,000 PSI in common rail systems. Your fuel pump relies on diesel fuel for cooling and lubrication. When fuel levels drop too low, the pump can start drawing air instead of pure diesel. This creates what's called an airlock air bubbles that disrupt proper fuel flow. Modern diesel fuel pumps are located inside the tank, submerged in fuel for cooling. When levels get too low, these pumps can overheat without sufficient fuel surrounding them. The result? Premature pump failure that typically costs hundreds to thousands to replace. Though some diesel systems can cost more. When your diesel runs low, you're risking more than just a roadside breakdown. The real problem begins. During acceleration, braking, or cornering with low fuel, the pickup can become exposed, allowing air to enter your fuel system. If your engine completely runs out of fuel, in most cases you can't simply add diesel and drive away. Some diesel systems require a bleeding process to remove air from the fuel lines and injection components. This often means calling for roadside assistance and can result in service costs of several hundred dollars. A lot of experienced diesel drivers have long followed this rule. Many trucking companies require drivers to fuel up a, a quarter tank. They usually say quarter tank is empty tank. The reasoning is simple preventing roadside service calls and potential engine issues is more cost effective than running on low fuel. Fuel quality can also be a factor. The bottom portion of any fuel tank tends to collect more water condensation and debris over time. By maintaining higher fuel levels, you help ensure your engine receives cleaner fuel. The solution is straightforward. Treat a quarter tank as your refueling point, obviously. You can get away with letting it run a bit lower than that in most cases, but try avoid doing it often. When your gauge reaches that mark, head to the nearest fuel station. This practice can help extend your fuel pump life, reduce the risk of needing bleeding procedures, minimize contamination issues, and prevent the frustration of unexpected power loss while driving. Many modern diesel vehicles have built-in protection systems that will shut down the engine before completely running dry, specifically to prevent air from entering the fuel system. However, I still recommend that you proactively do this by avoiding running on empty a lot of time. Remember, a quarter tank isn't just a suggestion, it's smart maintenance. Diesel engines are precision machines that perform best with proper care. Follow this simple rule and you'll avoid many potential fuel system headaches while keeping your diesel running reliably for years to come. Beyond just avoiding the quarter tank rule, there are a few other habits that can help protect your diesel fuel system, which I will cover in the next upcoming videos. Keep your fuel tank clean by using quality diesel from reputable stations and consider using a fuel additive occasionally to help remove water and contaminants. If you found this quick video helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.